Do you play football? I do. Well, I'm lying. I don't. Okay, I'll tell you the truth. I cannot. Why? I'm glad you asked. I'm Muzaffar Teja and I'm not an influencer. I'm not a content creator. I'm just a guy with a camera and you are about to enter my world. There was a time when I was a die-hard fan of football. Back in the days when I was in school, when I was in college, I was crazy about football. All I used to think about was football and only football. Unfortunately, once when I was playing, I ran into a very serious problem. I ruptured my right knee ligament. It happened back in Pakistan and I don't know why. Uh, maybe they didn't have the technical expertise or the equipment to treat my injury, but I ended up not having a proper treatment. And I lived for years with that injury, with that pain and agony in my right knee. It was horrendously devastating. When I came to UK in 2008, I had another similar incident with the same knee which inflated the issue severely and I had to go to the doctor and finally got my injury treated. I had first keyhole surgery in 2011, another one in 2016 and a proper ACL reconstruction in 2016 as well. After ACL reconstruction, I was advised by the consultant that playing football or even running is off the table. The main reason of that was I have been living with my injury for years which caused some damage which could not be repaired at that time. The only thing I could do was to avoid anything which involved running. So in all those years when I was struggling with my injury, I was not able to play football. I was living a life without being able to do anything I'm excited about. That was difficult. Because during that time I noticed how miserable and unpleasant my personality has become. I realized that having something in your life you are excited about can make a very positive impact on your life, on your attitude, on your behavior, on your overall perspective towards life. After so many years of boredom and misery, I finally discovered something which didn't involve running. can see I'm not alone today just to give you an update if you can see this tiny spot here that's where we are going that's the monument we're gonna go to and find out what that monument is all about I started a YouTube channel I started making videos initially the objective was to have successful YouTube channel and make some passive income out of it Unfortunately, that hasn't happened yet, but what did happen is that I started enjoying the process. I started learning the technical bits of cameras, making videos, editing them, putting some effects in the video, researching for the video, choosing a place I want to uh, make next video about. All that started making my life very beautiful. Since I make two types of videos, first hiking and outdoor videos and the second one is storytelling vlogs. That's why I have to spend some time on research about hiking trails or the story I'm going to tell in my video. This process has helped me to develop a habit of research, studying and making positive use of limited time available in the world. This has also brought discipline in my life. I make a plan about the video, I set a time frame to complete it, initial research about the track or the story, writing script, actually recording the video and making sure when I'm recording video I record enough to cover intros, b-rolls, a-roll aspect of the video, then finally I sit down to edit it. Since all of these things has to happen at planned time, I need to be very punctual and organized. We have just done probably the only climb so far and we're both almost about to die <laughs> I say that all the time pretty much in every video that it takes effort to go to the top but view from the top <coughs> is brilliant I am managing my professional life being an accountant my personal family life and then my hobby 
I'm enjoying every single aspect of my life now. I have more energy, I'm enthusiastic about the projects, I don't feel tired or sleepy if I have an unfinished project hanging around. And when I complete it and I post it to YouTube, then I sleep so peacefully that I can't even explain. That's me, Muzaffar Teja. Thank you very much for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one. Until then, bye-bye.